Mr. Investor, if you really want a property, you have to get real with your offers. But I know it's a buyer's market and there are many foreclosures. I want to spend a dime on the dollar. What's wrong with offering a hundred thousand below asking price? You are a good silly man. Having money doesn't give you the right to make ridiculous offers. It's guerrilla warfare out there, and you have to put up a tough fight to win the battle. But my FICO score is 800. I'm the perfect buyer. What do I have to do? I've already lost 15 properties. You're going to have to sign over the pink slip to your car to the listing agent, and give over your firstborn to be a maidservant in the seller's house for three years, and that's just to get your offer submitted. I'm leasing my car and I have no children, how about two cats and a dog? And I'll give him my wife for five years. No questions asked. That's a start, but we are going to have to write the offer sight unseen, and as long as there is running water, you will have to accept the house as is. But I want you to give me all of your commission, because I will have to make many changes to the house. I'm sure that is not a problem for you, since you are an independent contractor and your boss will just look the other way. Let me understand. You want me to drive you around for months, treat you to lunch, use my car, buy the gas, and get a house discounted $100,000. And you expect me to do it for free. Why not? You're a real estate agent. Don't all real estate agents work for free? Oh, excuse me. I forgot real estate agents are other life forms. We don't eat or drink. We live in caves and wear the same clothes day after day. We don't need to feed our children or pay our mortgage. We're just taxi cab drivers? I don't think so. You're out of here. 